In the late 1990s, this Pioneer six-well cassette player was used to broadcast locally with a 100 milliwatt transmitter. This being the little 100 milliwatt transmitter, and I'll show you the inside in a moment, and uh, broadcast from my house in Yonkers at the time. And I had the antenna coming out of this here. It was a place where a wire could come out with the, an with the, with the antenna. It was I drilled a little hole in the ceiling and uh, put a wire hanger up into the eaves of the, of the house and was able to hear my radio station at my workplace, which was line of sight from my house. And in the morning I could drive to work and hear my station. And at lunchtime I could sit in, my par in the parking lot at work and I could hear my station. And when I came home from work, I could hear their station as I was coming home. So this is a little transmitter and you can see that inside it's nothing than a little module, FM module. I'm going to show it to you in the right way. And uh, this module in the 60s never really had any stability until I put it in this box. I have it's a mono transmitter, but I have two jacks on the front for the sound so that it would go out. Uh, actually, the stereo sound coming in would be blended. I had a little switch to turn the transmitter on, and a little switch and turn it off. There's a place in there for the battery, and I found that using a uh, normal zinc carbon battery would give it a little extra a little extra push so it would help better. If I put a alkaline battery in there it uh, didn't have as much voltage and it didn't transmit as well. By the end of the week the battery was kind of worn and not only did the station weak, weaken in power but it shifted in frequency just slightly. Uh, I've written down here that the frequency I tuned to was 88.7 which is off the broadca FM broadcast band but it was a spot where TV broadcast was and uh, my radio in my car was able to tune it. So now you're going to see how the uh, Pioneer 6-well cassette deck make the, uh, the, the programming of that station possible. Let me also mention that this cassette deck was hooked up as an input to my VCR. And I had a little remote that at noon it would turn the VCR on, which overrode whatever was coming out of the cassette deck. That time, noon time frame was about the six tapes would be starting to reach their end. And at that point, the music on the VHS Hi Fi videotape would be broadcast in, in place. Now, the the VHS Hi-Fi tape had songs that were in sequence of a, of a record, so you didn't have any randomizing. But uh, in the earlier part of the day, the Pioneer machine did, did the uh, random play and made it sound like a regular radio station. Only 100 milliwatts, though. This will demonstrate the Pioneer CTM-6R 6-well cassette deck. Only one mechanism that will take six cassettes. So the first thing I want to show is All Rewind. There's a button over here called All Rewind. And I'm going to pay attention to the, the tape type over here. Some of the tapes are chromium and some of the tapes are not. And you will see that it will indicate which kind of tape it is right over here as it rewinds the tape. I've previously set these tapes so that there isn't that much to rewind so that you can see how it sequences through each cassette.
There's a chrome tape. Another chrome tape. That's a normal bias tape. And the last one is a chrome, t chrome tape. And it has rewound all the tapes, has returned the tape, and they are all started on side A right now. Now, notice that I've put relay play, which means one tape will go after the other, uh, but I'm also going to press uh, random, I believe that's it, random play. And it is now random playing the tapes.
Let me also point out that you can make multiple button presses and it'll remember the sequence. For instance, if I want to do a cassette return and open up the, uh, the doors, I can do so this way. And let me point out that you can also play a tape and you can uh, eject the other tapes while the tape is playing. And you see this tape is playing so uh, you can get to all the other tapes. You can even reload the machine while it's, while it's running. Thank you.